we going? She's a windy one. Thank you. Oh, nice and warm though. Okay, here we are back at the boat and job number one of today because we're only here for the day uh, got to try and button up as many things as I can is going to be removing the fridge here in the galley just want to get in there pull it out check it out clean it out because I may have mentioned this in the past we had on our uh, two boats ago our 400 Sandbridge we had a nice maker back in the cockpit and it was working but I was starting to not work hardly at all uh, the ice that was in it was melting so I wanted to replace it and ended up taking it out just to check measure and do whatever I had to do to plan to get an, a replacement and discovered that it was full of fur dust dead critters <laughs> like whatever bugs and whatever uh, spider webs and it was just munged up the whole thing so I vacuumed it cleaned it super well plugged it back in and it worked very efficiently and we never had any issues with it after that point so we didn't end up replacing it I'm gonna do that on this boat but that's a later project so I want to just get this one out taken apart clean up see what we have behind there then put it back in okay it's probably gonna get noisy this anchor girls vacuuming in the uh the forward stateroom so this is the fridge that I'm talking about so it should come out with just a matter of removing the screws all the way around and pulling it out This one here is being a bugger. I'm gonna put my light on. So you got them all out except for this one. You can see right it's the screw is right here on a bad angle to the bottom step. I might actually have to take this bottom step right out. Which I don't have a problem with. I'm just gonna try and get it because I think when they jammed this in it went in kind of sideways. I don't know if it's actually even catching on anything. Okay, as you can see, I got the screws out. There's four of the longer screws. I'd say those are inch and a half, inch and three quarter. Uh, just wood screws, but they're the really heavy, coarse threads, uh, almost like subfloor screws. And then there's the shorter ones, like one inch pan head screws, which go around the bottom. So the four are two on either side. They just go through the sheet metal into the fiberglass. <laughs> of the uh, cabinetry and then the other three screws oh, he says over the uh, sound of the <laughs> vacuum cleaner there's three across the bottom right three yeah okay so what uh, is happening now all these screws are out of the frame which is like a shroud but it's jamming up against the stairs and there's not enough wiggle room to get it out so I'm gonna have to take this whole shroud right off the fridge itself which is not a problem but to do that I have to take the door off the hinge which is going to be fine because I'm changing the swing of the door anyways and while I was thinking about it that this door is going to have to be flipped upside down to operate the other way so I just checked on these shelves and look at that if the door is now dipped upside down those shelves will fit in there the other way right because the door is going to be like that so that's a good thing see they thought that all through when they designed and built this so 
Next, it's going to take the door off the hinge. So there's a couple screws at the bottom, a couple screws at the top. Take it off, and then that will come over to this side. Of course, this will be the bottom of the door when that happens, and just put these hinges over to that side of the frame over here. So you see this uh, top hinge is now going to become the bottom hinge because it has to be flipped over, right? And that will, that will go in that spot. And then the one that was in the bottom here will be flipped over, go to the top so that the door will then swing it this way. Alrighty, so the new plan was, which was a lot simpler, um, just remove this whole base for the bottom step. So that was only three screws across the bottom and then two that went into the side here. So that's out of the equation. So I put most of the screws back in to this flange and now this thing should just slide right on out. Wires long enough? Yeah. Yeah. It's not hip. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a needle. It's not so bad at all, really. Mm -hmm. So maybe it is going. So now with this thing completely out. We can see what the back side of this looks like. It's not too bad. And there you go. That's the inside of the uh, <coughs> this cabinet space. A lot of unused space back here. Hmm. Makes you think, eh? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so what we have going on here, there's, as you can see, there's an AC receptacle there, shore power, and then, the yeah. And then this is the, the DC side, battery power. And that looks like some sort of a big capacitor or something in there. Um, because, just because. So it's not too bad after 24 years. I'm gonna surmise because we uh, pulled the fridge out in our 400 sedan, the galley fridge, the big one. And it was, <laughs> there was still uh, shavings and cuttings behind that. From when the boat was built and just real quick i want to make a note of uh you can see that they when they installed the fridge initially at the factory they had to hack the shit out of this wood here to get it to go in and they just left they left all their debris behind so i'm gonna guess a lot of this dust is from back then so i'm gonna clean it all out wipe it all out and then vacuum in behind here and underneath the fridge and get what i can get at and then uh try it so I'm right back inside this opening. Oops. I'm literally lying on the shelf where the fridge would sit. So that would be the port. Let me just make finger. So that would be the port side hall. The, outer, out, the outermost part of the boat. And this is looking forward uh, to underneath the galley sink. The faucet connections there course hot and cold water lines and then above me is the cooktop with the electrical connections very simple straightforward and I looked at this to see if we ended up going having to go with a longer top or longer cooktop I just want to make sure that there was extra room back here but for now we're just going to leave this as is and I'll tell you later what we're planning to do with that whole scenario but this is going to stay but at least now I know that there is more real estate in this zone in case we get a larger, larger cooked up. All right, so I have uh, vacuumed back in here and give it all a nice wipe down. So it's uh, very clean. It was clean as I suspected. It was just mostly construction debris. There's shavings and you know sawdust and whatnot in here. So 
not too bad at all and I'm very happy that everything else is clean looking it was just dusty like all the hoses the uh, the the hull itself that bulkhead in the back all nice and clean so that's good now while I'm in here before I put the fridge back I just want to point out a couple of things that I discovered and uh, always a good reason to do work on your own on your own boat as much as you can just so you have a uh, can better fathom all the systems how everything works so just a heads up I think I pointed out that is the actual receptacle that the fridge is plugged into on the alternating current side shore power side there's a junction box there for a whole bunch of stuff so I am going to strongly suggest that that would be for the receptacles on the boat because that would be all one circuit right if everyone's coming in and going out so I am going to say that one of these is line in from the panel there's two going out so there is there is a coffee maker up top which is on the same circuit as the receptacles and then there's a receptacle in the galley and then coming out of here there are two going out so one would probably be the receptacle that is in the aft cabin and it doesn't come to mind exactly where the other one would be right now but uh, again I'm gonna guess that that's all on the same circuit the same receptacle circuit as marked in the panel now looking back this way now looking back this way again we have the faucets and everything so it's nice to not the faucet I should say the plumbing the water line so um, this would be a relatively easy fix if you ever had to replace uh, the the galley faucet just the one nut up there and then these are the whale fittings of quick disconnect so this will just screw on top of that and that's it if you want to get up the drain that is behind here yeah, your water lines and then these two would just continue through to the head obviously for the shower and the uh, the sink in there and then this one here is the uh, poop line from the toilet coming out very straightforward we all know how that works and if you don't know how the pooper works on a boat I have plenty of videos on the vacuum flush system and then there is a drain for the boom 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 that'll be the uh, the sump for the shower and uh, condensate lines um, I don't know why there's two going out this one's this lines a little bit this lines a little bit smaller diameter than this one so I'm gonna guess that that is the water going out I don't know if that would be a vent I still have to investigate that okay so that's all uh, ready to go and uh, I wiped everything down to the back of the fridge now that's another thing if you're working on your own boat and you have an opportunity to pull something like the fridge out take pictures of all this stuff which I did I took pictures of the compressor that control board that's over there just so I have serial numbers and if there's any manufacturing names or whatever you have something to refer back to which is uh, what I would do and I was just uh, saying to anchor girl that if this fridge we find is not working optimally um, there's very few working parts so it's basically the compressor so if the compressor is, is, is shot that would just be a matter of replacing that everything else um, you know if it's working it's working in so far as the electrical because it'll be either on or off and of course switching it and then the compressor so there's basically two parts that one would have to replace as opposed to re removing or replacing the whole fridge because Given supply chain issues uh, in the world, you may not be able to get this whole entire fridge, but I'm sure the parts would be more readily available if needed be. And I'm glad that I saw this uh, little, I'm sure this is a capacitor here. Uh, that's definitely the DC side, the battery side. Okay, so here we are. I got the uh, fridge back in place. Again, it was just uh, basically four screws, uh, two on either side on the face, and then there's three on the bottom here as well. Um, and now I have flipped the hinges around. I haven't flipped them, but I put them on the opposite side. And I don't know why you can see that. The lighting is terrible in here. I'm using this LED uh, flashlight, so 
the lighting isn't the best. So the hinges just go on with three screws, two on the bottom, or sorry, two across the top, on the side, and then the opposite on the bottom. And like I say, this one would have been on the top corner, and that one would have been on the bottom corner. So that's all good to go. So I'm just going to put the door back on the hinge itself and hope that these adjustments are good because there's, I mean, there's like little sliders in here, not sliders, but I'm going to take some still photos. Maybe they'll show up a little bit better, but um, these hinges can move back and forth, probably about a quarter of an inch just to center them into the opening. And the same thing with the catch. I might have that catch facing backwards, but I'll find out in just a mere moment. Okay, there we have it. Fridge is all back in place, all nice and clean. And look at that hinging correctly the way it should have from the factory. If you remember my uh, coffee and toast videos on the last boat, um, again, same fridge, and this is the way it operated. And obviously that's gonna be a lot more natural when you're doing something here in the galley, making toast, making a coffee, rather than have to reach around and tripping over the door, potentially breaking it right off the hinges. Look at, noink, noink, boom. And the step acts as a doorstop. How much more could you want? Anyways, it's all nice and clean. I haven't had it running yet, but I'm gonna be trying that uh, shortly. You can see Anchor Girl's got all the shelves uh, back in the door. Brilliant. Nice and clean too, wow. And operating fantabulously yeah so very happy that we got that done and anchor girl was a big help with me uh, getting it all cleaned up and what I think we're gonna do for now is I mean the fridge is done the door is swinging the correct way very happy about that the natural way but I think uh, we were talking about it last night because we were here very shortly uh, yesterday for about an hour and a half and we were talking about uh, options for the cooktop and the plan that we've come up with is not replacing that cooktop because we used it maybe once on the last boat right honey yeah. anchor girl still over there cleaning away um so it's not crucial that we have it but we do want to do something about everything kind of raised up high so we got to work around for that and we have parts on order and i'll show you what that looks like when the time comes but anyways for now uh, things are getting nice and clean on the boat. Only a couple of weeks to launch, and that's going to be, yeah, probably about two and a half weeks from, from now. Hopefully, it'll be in the water. That'll put us middle of April. That's what they're promising us. And so it'll be nice if as much is done as possible, and so far as cleaning and getting it ready before it even hits the water. Well, whatever we can do today, because today's our last day. Um, yeah, I have to use the vacuum. Okay, go ahead. Um, so yeah, uh, maybe one? maybe we can stay on the boat when that time comes. So big project number one, done. And there's more to come. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Yeah.